Greetings, church family. Once again, we're delighted to come to you just to share with you and bring you up to date on some of the things that are going on here at the church. Primarily today, I want to share with you what has been happening relative to the planning for the reopening. Uh, we've had a reopening committee in place for several weeks and all aspects of what would be involved in the planning, security, sanitation, the ushers, everything has been looked at and you will find that information on our website. A lot of planning has gone into this, but we realize that you may still have some questions and concerns. And so we are planning a town hall meeting. So just be aware that there will be information shared shortly via our website as to how you can be engaged and involved in that uh, town hall meeting. Our goal is to provide for our members and our guests who come to the Berean Church to have the most uh, sanitary environment, along with being a, a spiritual experience, we want to assure uh, our members that every possible uh, contingency has been looked at. We have prayed about it, we have talked about it, we are planning, and many individuals with different uh, levels of expertise and involvement in our church leadership have weighed in on this. And so the document that will be on the website will show you what has been done so far. But we're still talking, we're still looking at our planning to make sure that nothing is left undone. I uh, want to thank the members for responding to the survey. You've been very candid and that has been greatly appreciated. Uh, we will be talking to you more again. There'll be another survey coming out soon just to ensure that we are operating with all of the most current data that we can have at our disposal, both from the CDC, from our civic uh, government agencies, but also from our church family as to where you are in your thinking in terms of your uh, being part of the reopening and being part of the in-service worship experience. I want to say thanks to our uh, board members who weighed in on this on Tuesday night and then we'll give opportunity for the rest of the church family to share your thoughts relative to what has been planned thus far. We are asking and soliciting your continued prayer for us that God will continue to guide and direct us, that God will give us the wisdom to rightly plan to make sure everything is in place. We thank you for your continued support of the church's ministries, that God has been blessing you and in turn you have been blessing the church in terms of its ministries. Thank you for those who have been, uh, who have volunteered for the community service uh, ministry. This week we served again almost 700 people, uh, families, individuals who have come to our campus to receive uh, the food boxes that were prepared. We're glad that we had some of the National Guard uh, return this week. It's a different regimen, but nonetheless, the support was greatly appreciated and greatly needed along with all of our volunteers. So I wanna thank the church family that have responded to the clarion call to assist us with the manpower needed to organize ourselves for community service outreach. We, a we are asking the church family once again, if you have any questions, concerns for me directly as a pastor or any of the pastoral staff, if you call us and you don't get a response, please don't be disheartened. Call the church, leave a message, or you can send us a text message so that we can respond. Just be aware that we have inundated with calls. So if there's a delay in getting back with you, please don't take it as a personal slight. We're just struggling with all of the uh, necessities, all of the things that we're grappling with, and we want to be sure that we are responding to you in a timely manner. We're asking again that uh, you pay attention to the website because there'll be information relative to the funeral on Monday and what we are asking you to do uh, and how you ought to govern yourselves relative to the services on Monday. There will be information coming out either later today or certainly in the next couple of days, and we're asking our members and our church family to pay attention to the website. It will give you relative current information that will help you in terms of how you ought to comport yourselves. I want to thank Sabbath School for and all those involved, Sister Taylor and the team on every level, from the cradle roll to the seniors, uh, for what you've been doing, all of our teachers and facilitators. Thank you for a job well done.
Continue to do that. We'll continue to do all that we can to support you. We're asking you to pray for our schools that we are planning right now. There are a lot of meetings going on as it relates to what will happen with the opening. So please continue to send in your support for our school. It is greatly needed and appreciated. But pray for us. Pray for our principles that God will direct them as we are planning in, in concert with our conference leadership as to what will happen with our schools. Enrollment is open right now, so if those of you who are planning to uh, send your, your children back to the schools, if you haven't contacted the schools yet, please reach out to Principal Davis and reach out to Dr. Lashley. They have information that they can share to guide you in your decisions. We are still in the business of educating our young men and women for their dual citizenship, that is citizenship here, and becoming good citizens here and then citizenship in the world to come. God bless you today, my friends. Keep us in prayer. We will stay in touch with you and share all the relevant information that we can relative to what is taking place at the church and how you can be a part of it and how you can be in partnership with us to ensure that all that is needed is being done decently and in order. God bless you. We're praying for you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk with you again soon.